Hi there, today we're doing column chromatography. I often get asked questions what column chromatography is, and I explain to people that I'm doing that in the lab. So I'm just going to quickly run through the basic concepts. This is a column, empty glass tube with a uh, diameter of about two inches on the inside. Here we got a little valve at the bottom that opens and shuts. Now I filled the bottom with cotton, put a layer of sand over top, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this part with a special sand called silica gel. This silica gel has a special characteristic that it has a certain retention for certain molecules more so than it does for others. What that means is that when you flush a product through, certain things are going to come through faster than others. You can separate them using a series of test tubes. After, you spot the TLC plate, which contains the same material. You use a special revealer, and you can see where your product is coming in. Then you collect all the tubes that have your product in them, put them into a round-bottom flask, evaporate, and you've properly done column chromatography.